Good morning, everybody. So today, I decided that I would just show you guys how I curl my hair. I get like a lot of questions from like my friends and stuff on how I do it, and it's pretty simple, but I figured I would just start the morning off by showing everybody that. Uh, so to curl it, I actually just got a new curling iron. It is this, I saved the box. So I use the Hot Tools curling iron, the one inch. It's the best one. My old one actually lasted me literally like 10 years. So I got a new one and I'm happy I got the gold. I was like pretty over the, um, you probably saw it in like a vlog when I was kind of curling my hair a little bit. Uh, it was like multicolored or whatever, but over that, I wanted the gold one. It's the same exact thing. So I basically use my curling iron as a wand, but I, I don't use the clamp. So I don't use this at all. Don't even know how to use it, don't understand that. Anytime I even tried, it just left a little thing anyway. So I don't use that at all. So whenever I curl my hair, I just do it in like two parts. So I take this here, and I kind of just like put it half up, half down, sort of but not really like that much, just like a little bit of the top part because these are the curls that like really matter, are those top ones. These are just kind of like the, even though this is most of my hair, this kind of just like leaves like the fill of it. But okay, so I split it in two and then I just start from the back and move to the front. So I take one of the back pieces, like this. I take my wand and I curl backwards. So I put this like this and I curl backwards. The TV is like in the worst spot because you can't really see. So I just kind of leave it there for a few seconds. And the trick to me curling my hair is that I, and then I just drop it like this, I hold it in place so it can cool down so my hair is pin straight naturally like this is I just showered last night air dried this is my hair it just straight so I hate it straight so I usually curl it like every day and you know now I have a knot in my hair now but um yeah so I curl it every day because that's how I like my hair it does normally last, you know, I'll put it in a pony and it's still curly and whatever. But it is annoying because it takes a long time for me to curl my hair. So, because I have to do this whole thing. So I wait now for it to cool. And then I'll show you, I drop it. And then it's a curl. So I basically just do this a million times. Depending on if like I'm in a rush or something. If I'm not in a rush, then I kind of take my time when I'm doing it. But, I mean, now I'm so used to doing it, obviously, because I've been doing it for forever. But, you know, especially now that my hair is pretty long, it's heavier, so it doesn't really hold the curl that well. It'll just end up kind of looking wavy at the end of the day, which is fine. But I don't add any hairspray, nothing. But my hair is very flat, so I do put a lot of dry shampoo. That's where I get all my volume from. Should have brought over here what I use, but I guess when I put it in at the end, I'll show you guys. But I love, I use the Tresemme. I feel like I've never heard anyone talk about the Tresemme dry shampoo. Everyone mentions all these other like high-end ones or like the Dove ones or I don't know, but the Tresemme one is where it's at. I love it. I love the smell of it. I love everything about it. It's the only one that works for my hair. But I obviously use the volumizing one since my hair is very flat and it works the best. So yeah, my hair takes forever to curl. I kind of make the pieces like, you know, not too thick 
because if it's too thick then it um it doesn't really like hold the curl and I would have to keep it on the iron for longer and I don't really want to burn all my hair away so I don't do like too like thick of pieces but it takes forever because my hair is pinned straight but worth it in the end because I like my hair when it's curled the best as long I just can't see myself chopping it all off just can't see it so that's that story but see how these curls like really aren't bouncy but then you see the difference between these two like that's pretty crazy all right so that's one side done I'm gonna have to like go over some of them cuz look see the bottom of this like some of them didn't really get curly then I just put those in the back and now I move on to this side and I do the same exact thing and again I curl backwards so these ones will go the opposite way it's like I'm in such a blah mood you know the weather is like it's freezing out it's sunny but it's freezing and all I want to do is be outside you know how people just get like that seasonal like depression because it's cold and it's winter and you can't be outside it's so annoying easy but I wish I can just I just want to go out to eat and be outdoors pooped up in this apartment I'm like what am I gonna do there's nothing to do go to the mall we do that really good died camera died I clearly did not come prepared for this video but I just wanted to show you guys I like have to I always sit on my legs so I take out this now this part which is now gonna be like a little curly anyway for being that bun and I kind of just separate the hair and I look crazy but <laughs> what are you gonna do so I separate the hair I do like a sort of middle part it's probably like not really a middle it's like a little off but um, now I'm gonna curl this side of my hair. Again, I have to find all these pieces. And now I'm just gonna curl this side. It's really not exciting at all, but you know, whatever. If you wanted to know how I curl my hair, this is how I do it. So while I, while, while I was charging that light a little bit, I ended up buying two little workout outfits, which I'm supposed to be saving money, guys. So it's not great, but I'm really, really, really excited. I really need workout clothes. One just to wear as outfits because they're so cute and two because I have none I literally have nothing I really need to just throw out all of my clothes give them to like Goodwill and whatnot because I'm just so over having them in my closet because I don't wear them so I need more workout clothes and whatever so I want to show you guys what I got really quick okay so this just launched on Shop Starlo this cute little set you can see how cute it's like this baby pink I swear I'm not a pink person at all like I really don't like I mean my phone case is pink but that was just for Valentine's Day this is the one I wanted and is it was in my cart but of course it sold out like I should have bought it sooner but I got that one that pink one and then I just got if I could find it quick it's like a charcoal 
like cheetah print one. Well, that's a snake print one. They have the cutest clothes. Like, oh my gosh, they're so freaking cute. I'm really excited. I needed a cute outfit anyway to wear because funny enough, I'll find the picture later. So funny enough, my friend Chrislyn, you guys have met her like a few times now. We are on the 8th of March. We're gonna go to a pole dancing class, which is actually hilarious. And I'm like <laughs> kind of nervous because that's like totally out of my comfort zone. But I think it'll be really funny and fun, you know. It's um at this place, damn, I forget the name, but it's in the city. But I needed like a cute outfit to wear to it because I don't really want to wear shorts or anything because I don't know like what we're doing on this pole, but I would kind of rather like wear leggings. I feel like it like might be easier <laughs> if we're like gonna do like some spins, you know? So I'm gonna wear leggings and then like that, you know, I don't know. I feel like that's cuter. Like I'm not gonna show up there looking like a stripper with some little booty shorts. Cause I have no idea what I'm doing. So I'm not even gonna pretend. So I'm just gonna wear something like that. I'm kinda mad at myself for buying stuff. Cause I've been going a little crazy. I get into like this mode where, like you know when you buy one thing and then you're like, oh but like I kinda need this or like I kinda want that. That's what happens to me. But now I can really not buy anything, like no more. No more buying, no more. You guys heard it here. I'm saying it here so that you guys can hold me accountable. No more shopping. I have to save. Have to pay off my debt. Oh, okay, I have to get off my phone. Okay, literally the Instagram like sponsor things that pop up on my, I don't know how they know that I love like all these stores. I find like the cutest stores that I've never seen before and they have the best stuff. Like I just can't even go on Instagram because I just want to shop. That's all I want to do is shop. <sighs> expensive to live in this world. So bad, so bad. So this side, like I said, is the side that stays out. So this always has to get curled again because this one piece of hair is like the most important because it's the one that's, you know, like the shorter one and the one that's like always out. So I always usually redo this side anyway, like these two curls that I just did. Cause look, like the curl kind of just falls out anyway. So I always redo that one, but I just kind of, whatever, hold it here, but See how it's kind of loosening up or whatever already, these bottom ones. And then I have to just do this side and we'll be good. Then just a few touch-ups and that's it. I think Vin's on his way home right now. The TV came for his cousin. I have to like hold my head. I look so stupid when I curl my hair. It's so funny when Vin um, first met me, he thought my hair was naturally curly the way I do it. Like he thought that that was just it because that's how I wore my hair forever. And then, you know, obviously when we started dating and I like, look at the, that clearly needs to be redone. Um, oh, he's actually coming in right now. Um, well, I actually curled my hair in front of him. He, it was so funny. He was like, oh my God, I thought your hair was naturally like that. Like how funny is that? What's up? Hey. Yeah, I'm filming. Say hi to everybody. What's up? I'm showing them how I curl my hair. My hair looks a little stew though. Oh, because it's What's so up? windy? Yeah. I got us lentil soup. Ooh, from your nana? Nah, from my mom. Oh. But you know that one I showed you? It was sold out and I'm pissed. Which one did the you gray show? one that I really liked. I should have bought it when I saw it. That's my issue, is that I think about buying it for like a week, and then when I have no money is when I buy it, and then it's too late. Like it's so annoying. But anyway, I'll show you. They just dropped a new set. Look how cute this one is. It's like baby pink. It's the same kind of like concept. So I got this one. I only like see the other one for some reason. What's the other one? The one that. Remember the gray I one I showed you. the class you? with. You're gonna. 
for the pole dancing class? Yeah. yeah, I just told them to. Well, the gray one is what I wanted to wear, but it's like charcoal and it has cheetah print on it. It's good color. This is what it looks like. So cute, right? Yeah, yeah I like that. Maybe I'll wear like that one. Mm -hmm. That one's so cute, right? And then it also, I should have gotten this, this cute little jogger outfit. Oh, I like that better. Well, I wouldn't, I can't wear that working <laughs> out. Not yet, that's nice though. No, I know, the other ones you got for working out. better, how annoying. And I like that too. I don't know. Everything sells out on that site. Yeah, whatever, you have those outfits, just them. Just True. Oh, oops. <laughs> I didn't even tell them that yet. So, me and Vin have a vacation. I don't know if we even talked about our vacation at all yet, but we have a vacation coming up in March together, and we had no idea where we wanted to go. We were going back and forth on so many different places, but we also are on a budget. So, it couldn't be that expensive, and whatnot. So, we ended up picking Savannah, Savannah, Georgia, <laughs> which I'm like really excited about because it's a place I kind of never thought I would even go. And I'm really excited just to go to Georgia. Like, I'm so excited to see Georgia. I really want to live like somewhere down south one day. And I feel like that, you know, it's cool to... Charleston. I've never been to any of those places. So to for me to, to say I want to live there. But the weather there, I feel like is just perfect. We did want to go to Charleston, but... We'll do it, but... We'll do it one day. It didn't work out. The yeah. Airbnbs are like too expensive. Yeah, so we're trying we're to like... not near anything. Yeah. Whatever. At least this, we got a hotel right on the water, so. Yeah, it's exciting. So, it's gonna be fun. We're going for like four days and three nights. So. I'm excited just to be like in the warm weather. Yeah, and like, it's like the last week of March that we're going, so it'll be warmer anyway there. There's like a beach there. But, I have to I get like, There is a beach there, but I'm not ready for beach weather, guys. Not ready at all. Of course you like this jogger set. Now I want to get it. Of course what? Even more, because I was going to get it, but then I was like, oh, but I wanted two workout outfits. But I should have just got one and then got that. Damn. That one's cool, though. Not for working out, just. No, it's just cool. Just for hanging out. Yeah. It's a cool set, but you know how it, you see it, it's like, um, it's a windbreaker. Like yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. material. Yeah. It's not like, so it's like that swish. So I'm gonna walk pants. around like swish around. Like from the 90s? Yeah. It's so cute though, cause it's cropped a little bit. So it's like, it's very on point. All right, finally last curl on this side. I feel like I've been doing this video forever. What do we do with milk cartons? What does it say on the bottom? Is there a little recycling thing on it? I think this could be recycled. I don't understand recycling. I don't know why it doesn't have like a thing though. Does that mean it can't be? Is it in here? I mean it's Something paper. In there. I don't know man. Just keep it to the Trash. Side. I'll look it up. We do just that. Trash. Vin thinks everything is just trash. He puts the wrong things in the recycle all the time and I go crazy. Cause our little bins are so tiny. And like, it keep, I'm like, why is the recycle thing so filled? And then I just find like all these random things that Vin thinks are recycled. He just decides. And he puts them in there. Like, totally not recycled. This is a little windbreaker jogger set to show you guys it. You guys probably know what this brand is. They're so cute, like, can't really see. Oh, there, that's a better picture. How cute is that? That movie's not even out. What do you mean it's not out? I keep messing it up when it comes out. When does it come out? out? What? It's not out, next weekend. Oh my gosh. We see the invisible man. No. We really want to, you know that new cartoon movie that's coming, that's I guess coming out? We were going to see it today, but okay. Onward. It's called Onward. It's with Chris Pratt and um, Tom Holland. That's his name, right? Mm -hmm. Look at me knowing people's names. Oh, wait, don't, don't 
Anything I gotta do. Oh, the light died again. Which one? Okay, so my camera kept dying and so did the light. So I was just wasn't really prepared to do this video anyway. But here is the finished pack. So this is what it looks like after I put in like dry shampoo and I kind of like zoom it a little bit. And that's it. And then this side, like I said, always kind of goes like more to the back. Cause I never wear it like all to the front like this cause that's like a lot of hair. So I usually put this side to the back and tuck it in a little bit and put it like that. It's a little blurry, right? There you go. And yeah, so that's it. That is the finished, the finished hair. Normally it falls. Like it's definitely not gonna look like this for the rest of the day. It always falls a lot and whatever. 